it was it, okay. So first and foremost, I was um, asked to bring a poem um, in the beginning when we started all organizing this service. And when we came up with the theme bridging the gap, the first thing that came to my mind was the body of Christ, Amen. And how we should be uh, unified and and brought together um, because we all serve one God. We all serve one God. And it, it surprises me that in the religion of Christianity, we tend to have so many denominations. And every time that I learn a new one, it says, Me quedo sorprendida because I'm like, wow, God, there's so much division in your people. Excuse me, there's so much division within the congregations. Because the church, the bride of Christ, is united, amen? The bride of Christ is united. And, um, so I was thinking about that when I was writing this poem. And the title is Whole, Com like as in complete, W-H-O-L-E, Whole. And um, I like to, to talk a lot about unity and what it means to be together as, as one, what it means to, to hold the hand of your brother, what it, what it means to support one another. Um, and a lot of times, not talking to someone can do as much damage as talking against them. Amen? And sometimes we don't understand that. We tend to stay within our confinements of denomination. We tend to stay within the con, the, 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 uh, the, the boundaries of, of congregations, and we neglect our brothers and sisters in other places, and that's just as bad as talking bad about them. Do we not understand that? And Christ calls us to be one body, not different parts scattered around the world. And I hope, and I, I ask that you guys may uh, lend a very attentive ear. If you don't understand some of the words that I say in this poem, you can ask me aside later, and I will gladly explain it to you. But again, the title is Whole, and um, I hope you guys receive something from it. Amen. Let the body become one. Connect the hands, feet, heart, lips to work for the sun. Scattered, this cannot be done effectively. Our eyes must see this intuitively, primarily because we need each other to survive. Dependence is necessary to thrive in this life, in this world, in this flesh. Because God and self-sufficiency don't mesh. It's bigger than you, bigger than religion, bigger than denomination, congregation, this is salvation. United we stand, divided we fall. There's no time to ignore our call to obedience. I promise you this will make sense. Knees our, are our intercessors. Stomachs our word vault. Ears are the filters of blessing and fault. And arms are our strength that remind us to surrender to his utmost marvelous from its figure? Does anything have taste without the tongue, whether sweet or bitter? Why amputate vital members? It is as meaningless as fireless embers in the attempt to rekindle itself. Let us not neglect any part of the anatomy to the back shelf. Let the body become one. Piece together the fragments of this shattered vessel and the glory will come. Amen. May God continue to bless you.